everyone and welcome to my channel i hope you're all well it's still cold <laughs> i know it's winter it's the uk but i'm still cold <laughs> um we've got some mild winters i think the last couple of years or is it just the energy crisis is making you more aware of um, trying to keep the place warm maybe that's what it is but um today i've got <laughs> look at samuel taking up all the room with his arms I've got Samuel, who has found a new favourite dummy, and I've got Lydia, and also I've got Narnia, so I've got three today, so we're expanding, we're expanding in our output, um, and I'm going to change them into some sleepers uh, for the two little ones, and a comfy outfit out of the hall the other day for Narnia, so I'll do the little ones first, so hope you're all well, um, there we go, just swap them around a little bit. So I've got um, a clean onesie for Lydia because if you watch my last video, you realise that she was commando. And then she's got a lovely pink uh, Peter Rabbit. It's Flopsy and Jemima Puddle Duck. And the Flopsy Rabbit is all furry. And then Jemima Puddle Duck is like a print. And it's got daffodils and I do like daffodils. My favourite flower is yellow roses, but I do like daffodils. It's, I, it's just spring, isn't it? Daffodils, um, bluebells, lily of the valley. Is it lily of the valley? The white ones are, they are lilies, aren't they? No, snowdrops. One of them. Now, see, <laughs> we'd always look out for them when we go around in the car in the hedgerows, and Mike would reel off all the names of all the plants. I should have listened more, shouldn't I? <laughs> So, um, so that's Lydia's outfit, and then for Samuel, I've got a little hat I knitted for him. And I, I'm knitting a cardigan to go with it, um, but the hat is done, and I realised that it would go nice with this sleep suit, Baby Grow. So it's uh, Winnie the Pooh one. I really like this actually. I've been waiting to put this on him. Um, and it's got Winnie the Pooh on the front, and in writing it says, I wonder how many wishes a star can give. And it does up down the side, and so it's on the right side because it's for boys, and then it's grey and white striped in the background. And Winnie the Pooh is quite large on the front, and he's in a black outline, and he's got a little sort of tan um, little top on instead of red. And wishes, in I wonder how many wishes a star can give, is also in the same colour, with a few little sort of tan colour little stars around spotted around. I like stars. I like anything to do with stars and moons and universes, galaxies, you know, space type things. Not necessarily spaceships and astronauts, but you know the other stuff. So I'll just pull my sleeves up a little bit because I keep sliding down. So uh, I haven't got anything planned for the weekend at the moment. I'm just um, chilling. I'm in a really lazy mood today. I just feel like I want to sit around and just uh, lounge. <laughs> and it's not through anything like lack of momentum or boredom or anything like that. I just generally feel relaxed and I just want to chill. I've just got a feeling for that today, which is unusual for me because even if it's something that I'm just sat doing, I have to be doing something. You know, so if I want to sit down for a while, say like, for example, my leg was hurting or something like that. I wouldn't just go and shit, sit, shit, shit. <laughs> sorry, I beg your pardon. I wouldn't just go and sit and put the telly on, put my leg up, get a coffee and just doze at the telly because that would drive me nuts. So, and I just can't do it. So for me, that would be go and sit down, get a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate or a Horlicks, something nice. And then it would be put something on on the telly for the background and then I would have to be online browsing something that was more interesting because otherwise I'd just be sat doing nothing and I just can't do that. Um, my granddaughter says I'm ADHD. I don't know. <laughs> Quite possibly, but uh, in my day we never found out those sort of things that I can remember. There you go. But I do get bored very easily and I do get like um, distracted very easily, as you'll know if you watch my um, videos. And I do get like, um, even when I was young, things like um, sitting at the kitchen table 
in the days before phones and internet and pads and all the rest of it and I couldn't just sit there and eat my breakfast even I had the radio on and that kind of thing I would even like read the cereal packet <laughs> which sounds totally ridiculous I know but I just could not just sit there oh I'm gonna wash this and tumble dry it that will make it a little bit smaller I did think about doing it already, but I didn't want to lose that new look because it's brand new. And I didn't want to lose the, you know, that appearance to it. Look at him, but he does look snugly. And real babies, their stuff never fits, does it, when they're tiny? There you go. Check what you can see, seems all right. There we are. The cats are quiet. Well, I say cats, generally, I mean baby cat. Um, because she's the little monster. Um, she's quiet. They had a little play this morning. Oh, here comes the sun. Move it. It moves around really quickly. Look at that. It just appears. There's a gap in my blinds. That's what it is. And let's see if that. No, a little bit more. Oh, it's the wrong bit than I thought it was. Out way, Lex, because you're right in the way. Right, I am still here, everyone. I'm just trying to shut up the light, but I don't want to make it too dark to film. Oh, flipping Henry. <laughs> Hang on. Two seconds. Right. Let's get some organisation going on. There. there you are. I'm sorry for the horrible noise. That's why I tried to not to do it in the first place. There we go. <clears throat> I did think about taking Lexi for WALK. She went out yesterday. And I was thinking about doing it today. Oh, you've probably just seen me in my pyjamas. Sorry. <laughs> oh, never mind. Don't take any notice. Pretend it didn't happen. Um, yeah. She went out yesterday. But then, you know, it's so cold. And I want to go down the seafront. I always walk along the seafront with her. To make her like an hour's walk. And um, I don't want to go down there today because it's too cold. So I'm trying to put it off till tomorrow. Because I've got that mood as well, haven't I? That I don't want to do anything. And she's right in the way, as always. So that's what the baby's over. Put you there and put you there. I am so loving him as a boy now. It is so like having a new baby. And I got a pigeon pair now, which I didn't think about before. Because when I um ordered the custom from Suzanne, I wanted it like two little girls together, two little sisters. So it didn't even occur to me to look at the sculpt like a boy. Which is something I might keep in mind in the future because look at the sculpt and see what you think. But you know, I was looking for one that was really similar and would match, you know, for a sibling. And um, the Odessa matches, doesn't it? Both Laurel Eagles, both got like expressions on their faces. And I don't mind the expressions because you can always hide that with a dummy if you don't want to see it so much. And then they don't look so expre expre expressive expressive you'll feel warmer today girl won't you with this one <laughs> I'm gonna get it's a good job I've not monetized isn't it because uh, <laughs> I just realized I accidentally slipping up with my words earlier and getting a shush where it shouldn't have been I would have just been demonetized wouldn't I <laughs> there you go it's that one and then we're gonna put the sleeper on I was always like, use it like baby grow, baby grow, baby grow, because that's what it was when my children were small. And uh, of course it's sleep suit now, isn't it, everywhere? But uh, I'm finding lately that um, I'm using the both words, you know, it's like half and half. So I must be partly converted or partly modernised. I don't know which it is. It's like onesie and vest is doing the same. I won't go as far as nappy and diapers though, or dummy and pacifier, because that's just not the language, is it? I don't know, it just seems more Americanized. Not no insult to anyone who's American, but I just prefer to use the British terms for that, for some reason. Got to keep some of your own, haven't you? Got to keep some of your own words, your own traditions. 
But, I mean, eventually we'll all be the same in the world over when we're using the same words, the same language. And it'll all be down to the internet. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? That'd go one way or the other, wouldn't it? Either global harmony or global unrest. Knowing the human race, the latter. No. Yeah, the latter. Not the former, the latter. That's right, isn't it? There, look at that. Isn't that lovely? And she's got a little bit of room, room to move as well, which is really, really sweet. Oh, bless her. So that's a quick... Oh, I've got some um, headbands and I couldn't find the exact one I wanted, which I know I had in my hand the other day. So I've picked up a few headbands. I don't think any of them are either going to be the right pink or else fit. That one would go, but I don't know if it'll fit. And I thought that one looked quite small. And this one that I made looks quite small. I'm not sure. Let's have a look, shall we? This one's on top, so we'll try this one, and it does look small. Oh, there you go. Straight off. Oh, I like that. I'm going to leave it with that. Might have to cover her ears a little bit just to stop it sliding off. But that's cute. Yeah, I like that. That's lovely because I, th I was thinking maybe this one and the pink is better really but it's going to be even bigger than the flower. I'm going to leave with that one and then I'll use the pale pink one for Narnia. There you go. So it's not the perfect match but I don't think that's um, a problem is it? It's fine. So now I need to move one of you over. So if I move, um, let's see where you can see. Oh, sorry, Lex, did the dog? Uh... I think you can probably see just as well from there, can't you? And he's been out longer, so I put you by there. I'm getting on, you're at the dog bed, because <laughs> the dog bed is next to my bed. So I laid her in it for a second, because I didn't want to plonk her on the floor. Come on, gorgeous girl. And there she is, and she feels like a chunk. When you haven't been handling her for a while, and you've only been handling the little ones. <laughs> oh. There, can you see it enough? I like my phone that it faces backwards. Um, so I can just pop my head round and have a look. I just like it that way. I don't like it that I have to look underneath it because it's too low down. Got some bits on there, but I think it'd be all right. Be under a clothes anyway. But when I've got it in the holder, it's sort of across the middle of the screen almost. And so I've got to try and look around and see what you can see with all the things in the way. So I've got these little socks that were a gift of, um, oh my goodness, who was it? I have to look back down my videos. I've got a feeling it might be Pauline, Pauline Holdsworth, but I can't remember. So if it wasn't Pauline and it's somebody else, it's not, I'm not meaning to be insulting by forgetting, but it's just a while ago and I can't remember. So much has happened since. Right, now, she's 22 inches and she's a lovely chunky 22 inches. So she will fit the end of 0 to 3 and bigger 0 to 3, um, if you see what I mean. And she will fit small 3 to 6 sometimes. So I'm looking at the leggings and I thought they might be too small, but that's going to be fine, isn't it? Look, I like how you can see some legs. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Oh, like pedal pushes, as we used to call them in the 80s. Told you I'd been around a long time. <laughs> I was talking to my son. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but... Um, because I'm such a chatterbox and I forget what I've said to who and where and, and all the rest of it. And anybody that knows me is rolling their eyes this moment. And... Uh, <laughs> I set up the um, BT Hub yesterday and um, it was fine. I set up the Wi-Fi, did fine, set up the TV. I did get thrown at one point and I did message my son because he said to plug the aerial into it and um, the type of leads that I got won't fit into the um, box. But I did say you could do it with Wi-Fi as well, but I wasn't sure whether it would be better with having the aerial in it too. So I just wanted to check with him and make sure before I pressed to set the start up 
if it was okay and it was fine and I, I did sort of know it would be should be fine but I just lost my confidence for a minute and I just wanted to check so I sent a few pictures back and forth of different leads and all the rest of it and he said basically mum you don't need those just throw them out you're never likely to use them again they're so old-fashioned <laughs> so I was like okay well this tv has been here since 2013 when we moved into the flat and Mike set it up so we have changed the telly in the meantime uh, not long after that mind we have changed the telly in the meantime i think it was something like 2015 and um but then mike just plugged the telly in and it just went straight into all the things because he knew how to do it and i didn't that's cute isn't it this is the uh, one of the outfits from the um haul the other day from the thrift shop so i've got some little so uh, little shoes rather from um two at sainsbury's the socks are looking a bit lumpy I might have to change them but the trouble is just poke it down there you go <laughs> I think I would have preferred lacy I was looking for lacy I've got some that's got they're white with some pink and white lace on the top and I did want those but I could only find one of them when I looked in the drawer so I just grabbed plain ones for now um just thread there I'll cut that off but that looks really sweet and I wondered if her little Valero or shrug, whichever you want to call it, Cardi, would go over the top because I do like that sort of layered effect. <clears throat> Put the fluff on there. Yeah, I set everything up. Okay, and I was really chuffing myself, but today I got to set up the phone and I um, attached the phone to the hub and. Um, oops. And then set up Alexa on it, which will be fun. If I put the right hole, it might help. Uh, I did iron that. I thought it might stick down better, but it's going to stick up, isn't it? That's going to have to go like that, I think. Um, I sort of like it. Um... I like the cardi on her, and I like it, the leggings on her. I'm just not sure about having half a ballerina. But uh, it's cute. And sometimes I like to um, have things that maybe are not so perfectly ordered together to give it a change, you know, to go, to sort of not be stuck on a rigid rule for everything, because I don't like that. Um, Sometimes you put colours together as different than you'd automatically go for and that sort of thing. And I just think it's nice to do that now and again. There you go. She's not the best hairstyle for headbands. She needs that fluffed up, really. There you go. It's a bit better, isn't it? I'll just wet it and fluff up the back. There you go. Let's make sure you can see her. Isn't that sweet, though? I like that. Just make sure you can see, yeah, you can see all of her. So there you go. So uh, poor old Samuel's on, <laughs> looks like an outcast. But he'll go back in the bouncy chair now in the living room. And the other two girls will go in the crib. And um, Loki, up there, will carry on enjoying his nap. Bless him. Free from the others. And I'm going off to um, have a sandwich. So I'm going to have a chicken and cranberry sauce sandwich, I fancy, for my lunch. So there you go. I had one yesterday for my tea and it was absolutely lovely. So I fancied another one now. So bye for now, everyone. Hope you enjoyed seeing the girls this morning and Samuel. And um, I shall probably be back on tomorrow. So take care, look after yourselves and each other. Bye for now. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.